dear one, welcome to your math session for today. Now we know you've all been working really hard again this week with your maths, so keep up the great work. Now before we get started with today's lesson, we're going to warm up. Now what do you think we might be counting in today? There's a clue on my board. That's right, we're going to be counting in twos. Now who can remember the rule to help you with this? I know you've looked at it with Mrs Parker and Miss Trevor. Can you remember? That's right, we miss out a number each time. So normally we would start with one, but we miss out one, go to two, miss out three, go to four, and so on. So we're going to use an action again to help us remember. Now, as we're counting in twos, I would like you to show me two fingers. Oh, well done, I can see lots of you already there. Boys are doing a good job, so are the girls, well done. Now, here we go then, we're going to count in twos. I'm going to do it together, and then next time we're going to see if we can get faster. Are we ready? So we're going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Very good. Well done, everybody. Do you think we can go a bit faster this time? I think we can. Here we go then, so show me those two fingers. Are we ready? So we're going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Very good. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a challenge. And it is a challenge, but I think you can do this. This time we're going to count backwards. I'm going to start with twenty and count back in twos. Are we ready then? Have a look at my board if you're not sure. Here we go. So we've got 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Very good year one. That was impressive. Well done, everybody. I found that quite tricky myself. So well done. Now keep practicing those so you know your tens and you know your twos. You've also looked at the next one we're going to look at later in the week. So have a think about what that might be. But remember to keep practicing. Now, I haven't done the Learn It's for today's video because I've attached them separately on the website so you can have a go at doing those at your own speed. And of course, make sure you're doing those every day to keep practicing. Ready for your big maths quiz on Friday. Now, we had a go at writing numbers as words on Monday and we got up to a bit of a funny number. So we, we ended on which number, can you remember? That's right, we ended on eight, didn't we? Which is a bit of a funny place to stop. So where do you think we're going to be today? What number are we going to start with? That's right, we're going to start with nine. So let's have a look at today's um, rhyme to help us. So it's naughty infants nibble owls. It's a funny one, isn't it? So naughty infants nibble owls. Hmm, what a strange one. So here we go then. So we've got naughty you can all see infants nibble owls that's a funny one today and don't forget to do this in your best cursive handwriting it was really nice to see in your emails on monday that you'd all been practicing these so well done and i saw that some of you challenged yourself and went to 10 so very good everybody now again if you need a bit more time you can pause the video and then join it Join us again when you're ready for the next one. So obviously after nine, we have the number 10. Very good. So this is a good one. So we've got turtles escaping noisily. That's today. So turtles escaping noisily. I wonder why they're escaping. And you might be able to sound this one out without needing that rhyme. So we've got turtles escaping noisily. So we've got nine, ten. So what's next? Pause it if you need a bit more time. Brilliant. It's eleven. So it's a funny one, this one. It's quite a long one. So it's ever lonely eagles visit empty nests. It's a long one. So ever lonely eagles visit empty nests. So here we go, eleven. So we've got ever lonely eagles visit empty nests there we go so 9 10 11 well done okay who's ready for the next one 
Oh, I can see you are. So what is the next number? Brilliant, it's 12. This is a funny one today. So it's, those wobbly elephants look very excited. They do look rather excited, don't they? Must be quite tricky to do that. So those wobbly elephants look very excited. Here we go then. So those wobbly elephants look very excited. There's 12 and 12 is a funny one to spell. So it's just one of those we have to practice. Okay, you ready for the next one then? So after 12, we've got 13. Well done, a long one again. Are you ready then? Because it's a tricky one because we wouldn't say, like we normally say three, do we? It changes to 13. So it's a different rhyme to help us. So it's the house is rocking, the emperor explains nervously. So the house is rocking, the emperor explains nervously. Oh, a long one, here we go. So we've got the house is rocking, the emperor explains nervously. Oh, that is a long one today. So the house is rocking, the emperor explains nervously. Oh, that was a very long one. Okay, well done everybody. I can see you're all trying so hard with your spelling there. They are tricky. So remember, if these rules are help, not helping you much because they're quite long ones, you could think of your own. Perhaps something that makes you laugh to help you spell them. Now, finally for today, we're going to stop here and we're going to stop with the number 14. Well done. And then that leaves us some for later in the week. So 14, and of course we know our rhyme from four. We've got those flying otters under rainbows. And then we have to just put teen, which we can sound out. So we've got flying otters under rainbows teen to make 14. So flying otters under rainbows and then teen. So that's a nice one because we know how to spell four from the other day. So there we go. We've had a go now at writing nine to 14 in words. So have a think about which number we're going to be writing next. So well done, everybody. Now let's turn my board round for today's Teach It. I'm sure you can spot somebody on my board. Now, before we get started with that, I'm going to tell you today's learning objective. Now, of course, we are doing some facts again, and we've done lots of these facts now, and we know that you are getting the hang of this really well, which is amazing. So we're just gonna keep going for the last few numbers, and then we're nearly done. So well done, everybody, you're doing a brilliant job, and we know you're trying to think of lots of different ways of doing this, so well done. So here we go, we've got to find and represent all subtraction facts of 17. So you looked at addition yesterday, so today we're going to be looking at subtraction. And to do that, we're going to count accurately 17 objects, we're going to look carefully at the starting number, and then we're going to work out how many you need to take away to get 17 as we are subtracting. So to do that, what is subtraction? Who can remember? What does that mean? Are our answers going to get bigger or are they going to get smaller? Well, then they're going to get smaller, aren't they? Because we're taking away. Now, which number do we have to start with when we're subtracting? Is it going to be the bigger number or the smaller number? Well, then we're going to start with the bigger number and then our answers will get smaller. Now, we're going to start off by warming up, by counting backwards, and we're going to stop when we get to 17. So are you ready? Give me a big thumbs up if you are. Very good. Here we go then. So we're going to count backwards. So we've got 19, 18, 17. Well done. So are you ready for the next one? So this time we're going to count back from 27. Here we go then. 27, 26, 25, 24, 
17. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Okay, next one. Are you ready? It's a bit of a bigger number. It's 36. Here we go, everybody. So we've got 36, 35, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, and today's number 17. Well done. So that's the number we're going to be focusing on today is 17. Now, of course, you've probably spotted our very furry friend over here who can remember who he is. That's right, it's Old Bear. And Old Bear, as you can see, has lots of treats with him because Old Bear is having a party, he's having a tea party with his friends and they have eaten lots of treats and they've only got 17 left. So today, like you've done before, Old Bear would like you to help him figure out how many treats they've eaten. They were so excited, they didn't, ca they didn't count how many they'd eaten. So he would like you to help him today. So that's your task. So there's Old Bear with all of his treats. We've got 17. And he wants to know how many has he eaten. So have a think. What do you think you could start with? What number might you start with? Yes, yeah, so you could start with 20. But that's going to be quite easy, I think, for you today. Because you've all done such a good job. I think 20 is going to be a bit easy. So what number? could you start with instead of 20? Brilliant, you could start with 25 or if not you could start with an even bigger number, you could start with 30. Well done! So that's the numbers you're going to start with and you're going to take away and find the different number facts to help you work out how many he might have eaten but we know left over he has got 17. Now there are lots of different ways you could do this and you've explored all of those in your previous math sessions. So of course you could do that by finding objects and you would, if you're going to start with 25, you'd find 25 and if you're finding 30, start with 30 and then take away to find the different ways of making 17. Another way you could do it, of course, is with your tens frame. Let's move all there over actually so I can pop it this side you could all see that. Now of course this is an example to show you with 20. So we want to get to what number? Oh dear they're all falling off today aren't they? So we've got 20 and we want to get to, that's right we want to get to 17 don't we? So we need to figure out how many we're going to take away to get to 17. So what do you think? Shall we have a look then? So we know we're gonna still need 110, but how many ones are we going to need on here? So right, we're going to need seven, aren't we? So you can count your seven and then figure out how many you're going to take away. So I know we need to take away one, two, three. Have a look then. Does that now mean I've got 110? and seven ones. Very good. So then you would write your number sentence. You can see it would be 20. Take away, how many did we take away? Brilliant, three equals 17. So there's your number sentence. And then of course you'd start with the next number. And I'm sure you know how to do this now because you've done such a brilliant job. So you will know this one. Now, of course, another way to do this is by using, who can remember what else we could use? That's right, we could use a number line. Now, of course, I said at the start, could you challenge yourself by using a bigger number? So instead of starting with 20, could you start with 25? Bet you could. So hopefully you can see that. So we're gonna start with 25 and we're gonna jump backwards until we get to 17, well done. Are we ready then, everybody? Have you all got your eyes watching, ears listening? So we've got 25, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, very noisy out there. So we've got 25, well done. Take away eight, finishes off at 17. So our number sentence would be 25, take away eight equals 17. So if you start with 25, what number are you then going to start with next? Brilliant, you're going to start with 24 and so on to find the different ways of making 17. So that is your lesson for today. And of course, there are different sheets on the website. So you can start by doing this one and choose to do it from 25 or you could really challenge yourself and go from 30. So there's both options for you. And then of course, you've got your secure it. So here is your secure it question for today. And it says, Emma thinks that 10 equals seven take away 17. Hmm. Have a little think. So she thinks that, so can you explain why she is incorrect? So again, she says 10 equals seven take away 17. So have a think and have a go at doing that for us. And then of course, you've also got a deepen it. It's quite a long one today, but your deepen it is to draw a picture to represent each problem and then solve it. So it says a plant has 17 leaves and three fall off how many are left? The next one, there are 17 bikes in a park, five go away, how many are left? And finally, there are 17 cakes on a plate, Colin eats eight, how many cakes are left? So there's a deep knit for you, and of course, you can just do maybe one of those or two, however you're feeling. So that's your lesson for today. We know you are experts at this now, so you're gonna prove to us what superstars you all are. So have a good go and good luck everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.